Hello all, as a continuation of my lecture series in special electrical machines, along with the permanent magnet synchronous motor, we are going to discuss about the synchronous reluctance motor. So, what a synchronous reluctance motor is? Uh, it's again, it's an electro electrical rotating machine that converts electrical power into mechanical power. So, why uh, here we have two important, uh, two important um, words which is reluctance and reluctance torque. So what is reluctance is it is a measure of material or a magnetic circuit opposition to the flow of magnetic flux. It is very similar to resistance in the electric circuit. So reluctance is very similar to resistance in the electric circuit which will oppose the flow of magnetic flux. Where uh, the torque developed with the help of Reluctances, we call it as reluctance torque. That's all. Very simple. So, the synchronous machine in which only the reluctance torque is developed is called as synchronous reluctance motor. So, in this synchronous reluctance motor, it is of four types. Uh, generally, reluctance motor is of four types. Synchronous reluctance, variable reluctance, switched reluctance and variable reluctance stepping motor. In which we are going to discuss about synchronous reluctance motor. Coming to construction, it is very similar to induction motor construction where it has armature conductors, slots, stator core and the outer frame. So this picture shows only the construction detail of stator. Only the rotor design has significant difference. So uh, this uh, reluctance motor is named with the help of the distribute uh, with the help of the difference in the rotor. Otherwise the construction of the stator is very similar to induction motor. Coming to stator types, we have two types of stator, open slot and closed slot which is semi closed slot where open slot the slots are projected inwards and whereas in the uh, semi closed slot the pro slots are projected outwards. Coming to rotor of synchronous reluctance motor, here we have three types axially laminated, radially laminated and segmental rotor. So the picture shows the axially laminated and radially laminated where axially laminated will be a plus shaped structure and radially laminated will be the parts. Uh, it will be like this the picture so it will be like uh, individual sheets. Segmental rotor will be uh, inwards projected and the uh, north and south will be outwards projected that is what we call it as segmental rotor. So this is axially and radially laminated rotor uh, flux distribution where it will be a curve shaped structure and uh, the basic difference between the axial and radial laminated is the main difference is it's axial and this is radial and uh, uh, it has two designs axial type has two designs whereas radial type has only one design and the shaft may be uh, rectangular cross section whereas in radial type it is circular cross section and uh, this axial type design it, they mainly choose for high speed applications and whereas radial type is choose for uh, it is not uh, it is not uh, op appropriate for high speed applications so we have to go with axial type when we go for high speed applications so this LD and LQ are we have D axis and Q axis so when input supply is given the magnetic field will be produced along the D axis and Q axis when the rotor rotates and it produces a flux and the flux will be cut. Okay so there the produces the reluctance value. So uh, with in axial type the uh, direct axis inductance and quadrature and axis inductance ratio will be uh, when we increase the inductance value we can obtain more power factor and efficiency whereas in radial type by decreasing the value we can obtain more the uh, flux. So this is the main difference between axial and radial type and coming to torque angle characteristics we have two parts of motor with motoring operation and generating operation. Normally we all know that when the motor is uh, running up to 1500 rpm that is synchronous speed we call it as motoring then if the speed is greater than 1500 we call it as generation then why the graph is in 
positive and negative direction is it is based on the slip value when the slip value is positive we go with uh, the motor is more motoring operation and when slip value is negative then it is uh, generating operation so this is how the this type of graph has been shown so this is the graph between torque and the angle so coming to advantages of uh, synchronous reluctance machines uh, there is no concern with demagnetization hence uh, this type of machines are more reliable than permanent magnet machines and uh, they need not be any exciting field or torque is as torque is zero thus eliminating electromagnetic spinning losses and synchronous reluctance machines are constructed entirely with the high strength and low cost materials so this is about the advantages of uh, synchronous reluctance but coming to disadvantages this is high cost than induction motor and by increasing the salience ratio saliency means that uh, direct axis inductance and quadrature axis inductance then only the power factor can be included so compared to induction motor is slightly heavier and has low power factor so in this video we have discussed about the construction and applications disadvantages of synchronous reluctance motor thank you